biggest room in the world. That will be Walker for six and a half minutes, our Toastmaster, Tim Zuman. What's the biggest room in the world? Room for improvement. <coughs> Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, <coughs> and our guests. We talk the talk, proclaiming our commitment to self-improvement. How do we know what areas we need to improve it? I have a technique that will help you pinpoint those areas. This exercise requires that you gather a group of your confidants, those who know you best. Your employees, friends, siblings, even perhaps your spouse. Gather the group for a meeting. Select one from your group to be the moderator. Brief them in advance how to conduct this meeting. Begin your meeting by addressing your group. Let them know that you need their help today. You have chosen them because you can count on their honest, unbiased answer to the next three questions they'll be asked about you. Promptly remove yourself from the meeting. <coughs> Turn control over to your moderator. The moderator begins with this question. What is it about Doyle that you like? This is not the information you need to sell them. However, it breaks the ice. It gets the group talking. It will help the moderator receive ample feedback to the next two questions. The group will talk about all the wonderful things they like about you. It is the moderator's duty to get them to agree to only one answer. There must be a consensus. The group's solidarity in sentiment and belief. Have the moderator take that single answer, write it on a large sheet of paper in front of the room. Second question. <coughs> what is it that you wish Dick <coughs> would stop doing? Now at this point in the meeting, your audience can become quite mob-like as they shout out the enormous list of your weaknesses. <laughs> Again, the moderator must reel everyone in. There must be unanimity. Only one answer can go on the sheet of paper, right under the feel-good answer that we just recorded. Final question. What is it that you wish Alan would do more of. If, if your spouse is in attendance, their answer to this question could be quite embarrassing <coughs> for you. Luckily, the group can only agree <coughs> to one answer that, again, we record on our sheet of paper. The moderator retrieves you and brings you into the meeting. You stand before your audience. You read aloud the question and their answers. You want to clarify with your critics exactly what the words on this paper mean. You want a crystal clear understanding of the areas that you I've had this exercise performed on myself twice at my request. Both times the audience 
were the employees that I managed. The experiences were quite humbling. I believe that I am not who I think I am. I am what others perceive me to be. Mr. Postman. 